Jofra Archer's fifth over this morning. How many more can he afford to keep him on for? Because it's Smith, I would say at least two. No point in having short, sharp burst and leaving Smith there. Well, there's been a lot of talk ahead of this game about this particular contest. Australia's best player and one of the best against the debutant and quickest England bowler, Jofra Archer. What has Root set? He's set a short leg, a leg slip, two slips and a gully. The crowd is behind Archer. A wicket taking over. 60 for two. Edge done gone. A wicket usually brings another, and it has this time again. Yeah, there's a bit happening here. Drizzle falling, floodlights on. These are good conditions for bowling. It's taken a while for England to get the breakthrough this morning. But Kawaja now has followed Bancroft into the pavilion. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Thick outside edge, straightforward catch for Bairstow. Wokes on his favourite ground strikes again. And they've got two new batsmen in now with Australia. Three down for 60 and England will fancy their chances over the next few overs. Kawaja played nicely, but just 36 for him, 60 for three. Oh, yeah. Cast your mind back to yesterday morning at the toss. You did it, Mikey, out there with the two captains. Now, I think this is the problem about putting a side in on a bright, sunny day. You can see the rain falling there as Kawaja gets out. It's drizzling, floodlights are on, heavy overcast conditions. Ask yourself, would you prefer to be batting now or yesterday morning in bright, breezy conditions? I know when I'd prefer to be batting. And I said it at the toss, I was surprised that either one of them wanted to bowl first. But they both said they would want to bowl first. And in this country, Arthurs, irrespective of what the forecast says, when you see what you get, you use it. Well, especially now that the floodlights allow for play, it's a little bit like going back to the days of uncovered pitches. A captain would get a bright, sunny day, and he'd always bat because you don't know whether it's going to rain the next day, and then you get caught on a wet pitch. It's a little bit like that now because you don't know whether the lights will be on the next day. And that's what I mean, that you get a bright day that seems like a batting day. You don't want to waste those conditions. Oh! Well, a bit of a mix-up here. Got back. Ooh. There's been a couple that we've seen this morning, one to Kawaja and this one to Travis Head, where the ball has been very full, but has hardly bounced. Three slips and a gully, I, I wonder whether Root might fancy another catcher there. Twice he's gone past the outside edge now. All the threat to the left-hander from the end archer is bowling is to the outside edge. Maybe square leg could come across to a second gully. Well, all the talk about the plans that England might or might not have to Smith. This is a very orthodox field. Three slips gully, a couple of men either side, a fine leg. I can't think that Wokes will do anything that he wouldn't normally try and do here at Lords, which is use this slope, use the end that he's bowling from to try and find the outside edge and those catchers waiting there. Root, Roy, Besto, Stokes.
I like this field. I agree totally with this field. And the line that he's bowling at the moment as well. That line is perfect. Just now has to adjust the length at times. Get it a little bit fuller. No. Coming back up the slope, but a bit wide. Strong bottom handed grip, that big step across, the unusual back lift out to Gully. All the mannerisms that uh, we touched upon in those long vigils up at Edge Baston. Squares him up. Completely square on there, Travis Head, as he defended that. Yeah, his stock ball is the one that goes down the slope away from the left-hander. So he's creating angles by coming round the wicket. And he just straightens on you. Turn Travis Head around a bit. Maybe a fraction fuller. Lucky to get away with that. Thick inside edge, they can go anywhere including on the stumps, but that's missed the stumps. Picks up two for it. That's away, up the hill towards the grandstand, just a bit of a jog as the ball does all the work, heading for the boundary in a hurry. Little confidence booster Very good there, for Travis Head. So that's 68 for three. Well, he's left the ball well out there, if not extravagantly. The way he leaves it when it's out. He <laughs> wouldn't teach players to bat like him. He wouldn't teach players to leave it like him. <laughs> Beautifully bold. Very similar to the one that got Kawaja. That is the testing line at left-handers. It's always that debate about the length as well. Previous delivery to head, he'd been full and got driven. Just dragged it back a little bit, went past the edge. Somewhere in between would be nice. I think that last ball was important. Often when you talk about Smith, everyone talks about line, what line do you bowl? Not many times you talk about length. I think you've got to get Steve Smith coming forward. I think he plays off his hip brilliantly, leaves it brilliantly. So much discussion about line to Smith. Length is more important. Even a very full Yorker. Leg stump. Hitting the base of leg stump. At the moment, they're a little bit back of a length. Get him coming forward. There, he's good there. good he just plays easily off the back foot short he just has all the time in the world nearly everything has to be full at him get him driving One run from the over, 71 for three. Oh, 
close, very close, surely out. Broad thinks it's out anyway. Well, the decision was not out. TV that umpire to director. Very been reviewed. Player review for LBW. The on-field decision is not out. May I start with the front foot, please? That's a fair delivery. Let's move on to front on, please. Appear to be no bat involved. Ultra edge, please. A little gap between the bat and the ball, a flat line. I'm satisfied, there's no bat involved. Can you move on to ball tracker when you're ready, please? Ball tracker coming up now, Alim. Ball pitching in line, impact in line. Wickets hitting. Alim will have to reverse your decision. I'll tell you when you're on screen. Mark, can you put Alim back on screen, please? Alim, reverse your decision, you're on screen now. So, Travis Head is on his way. No problems with the length, the line, the fact that it was knocking stumps out of the ground, but for those pads. The only thing I can think of for the original decision is the possibility that Alan Dar thought there might have been the inside edge. Would have been a couple of noises, pad to pads, which you hear as an umpire, uh, but the Hawkeye confirms it. Stone dead. And off he goes. Head is out for seven, it's 71 for four. Four down, and it's Matthew Wade next at number six. Century maker at Edgbaston in the first test. Uh, but this is a rather different situation now. It's developing very rapidly in England's favour. Just looking at this yet again. I mean, yeah, line and the length. Absolutely stone dead. In that first test match, there were, I don't know how many decisions given where the decision was out for LBWs and inside edges were then spotted with the replays and the review overturned. And this is the other way around, where Ali might well have suspected an inside edge. There wasn't one, so the decision goes against the batsman. No yeah, you're right in your assessment of why maybe it wasn't given out. Two pads, and it flicked the front pad, back pad, so Alim Dar might have heard two noises. But it was absolutely plump. England with control and movement. Good change of bowlers as well, bringing Broad back on. Excellent this morning, England. Well, it goes for it and nails it. Wokes hasn't tried the short ball at him until now. Steve Smith gets on this very quickly. Well, with the rain falling, obviously this is not the length to bowl, but definitely get Steve Smith playing here. They could be off in 10 minutes. You never know, it could rain the rest of the day. A little bit of width outside off stump. Just finds Denley, just behind square on the offside. <laughs> now that I like. Just full enough, straight enough. Has to play at it, has to get a bat on it. He's rather good at that. Hasn't done much, so that's the thing. He's been given a chance to do it a little bit in the air. It does hit the seam. Maybe he got in the right sort of position, but he's always behind those. 
But at this stage of the game, I'd like to see him playing just a little bit more often, to be honest. That's the length. I reckon that's the line as well. Absolutely. And with his action and because he falls away so much, you always think it's coming back into you. The shine on the outside, conventional out swing going with the slope. And Stephen Smith immediately, you know, always adjusting his body, expecting it to come back in. Great seam position as well there. Good. Stokes. First delivery up. Look at that seam position. The ball there responding and going down the slope. Squaring him up with a movement. Seam still presented to us. Slips looking for that outswing. You saw Broad and Walks ball use the shine, and then ball scrambles him to get nip off the pitch. A lot of the time in England, you're told present the seam, present the seam. The wobble seems also been very effective. Very effective and uh, delivery that's getting used more and more. Mm, not mind seeing that either. That's a very good shot. Square of the wicket. That happens when you play it late. Good decision not to hit it with a vertical bat. And the ball is swinging and seeming as a batsman. I just want to be on my back foot and be bowled the length that allows me to bat on my back foot. Good from Broad. Wait, 16 deliveries still or not. This look good for those 16 deliveries. This look positive. He's left well. Nice and decisive. This partnership is absolutely crucial. Australia are to mount a challenge and even have a chance of going beyond England in their first innings. Shot for no runs. Another maiden. 75 for four. Always interesting watching the bowler's reaction when Smith works one to leg off middle stump. They're like, you know, oh, I almost had him. Stephen Smith never misses. Very rarely. Hitting off stump that. And there's the reaction. <laughs> the 
Evade covering that off stump very well. Stokes would like to use that slope to swing one back in. Wade LBW the first innings at Edgbaston. Set up beautifully by Wokes. And the bowling team wouldn't have forgotten that. That's where you're in that sort of length. That's the play straight. Might just get one to just move a little bit down the slope. Good morning for England. I think they've got to repeat that to Stephen Smith. You can't have him sitting on that backward playing from a very, very comfortable position. The length comfortable. Easy sighters, easy lead balls. Extra bounce. Screen on the scene. A bit bigger than they expected. Yeah, that's what I think. If England can. So if they ended up parity at the end of the innings, they'd be happy. But if they can get a 50 60 run lead, you don't really want to be batting on here on day four, or day five. As the test match goes to effectively day four. <laughs> that looked out full. Well, they Copy reviewed that, it. Chris. Let's have a look. TV umpire to director, player review for LBW. The on field decision is out. May I start with the front foot, please? That's a fair delivery. Let's move on to front down, please. There doesn't appear to be any bat. Can you give me ultra edge to confirm that, please? There's a flat line as the ball passes the bat. I'm satisfied that there's no bat involved. When you're ready, ball tracker, please. Ball tracker coming up now, Chris. Ball pitching outside leg, Chris. So you'll have to reverse your decision. Mark, can you pull Chris back on screen, please? Chris, you're on screen now. Reverse your decision to not out. So just outside the leg stump line. So need that you see that. You can move on. It didn't really swing back in it or swing away from the left hander and the amount of swing that we saw on TV it's really difficult to hit the stumps unless it pitches outside leg stump disappointment for Ben Stokes in England the really well used review Again, you want it up there a bit fuller, I think. Off stump.
can easily see the control exerted by the England bowlers on this Aussie batsman. Wade, no runs yet off 22 delivery. Smith, nine off 36. We have Cameron Bancroft not going anywhere fast. With really good bowling today. Let's rest away very, very fine. No, it's not the right line to that man in your picture. Yeah, I have no issue with the length. I thought the length was really, really good. Still on the stumps, but a little too straight for Stephen Smith. Want that length, but challenge him on that channel, that fifth, sixth stump. It was interesting there, Stuart Broad at the end of his run-up was having a look up at the replay on the screen behind him and shaking his head. It would have hit middle stump, middle of... It would have done, it would have done, didn't. <laughs> Did it the boundary rope. Yeah, Stephen Smith shivering Chander Paul. Every time they played the ball, the ball was reacting. Uh, almost as if they bought the best ball in the world. And can't believe how they how Stephen Smith got bad on ball. David Warner in the chat with Justin Langer. Stuart Broad's got his number in this series three times now, but in three different ways. Again, left on line, length. Line doesn't matter. It's nice, look, the Australian players are brought up on quicker and bouncier pitches. He knows from the moment he sees the length of that, he can just let it go. line but just wanted to be a bit fuller again it's 80 for four <laughs> and Dar now marching over there's five balls to go before lunch um really yep that's it on comes the covers. And staff there getting into position. The cover will be coming out in a minute. So lunch will be taken. So for Archer, well, you'll remember this morning. He took his first test wicket. Start from Ben Stokes, a bit of bounce. Played that pretty well because that got big on him. Oh, yeah. oh there's that wide line again. Steve Smith's mad at himself. He's walks away and starts yelling at himself. <laughs> himself a lecture but the thing is the length that's what I like it's the length I think at times we just bowled too short to him Steve Smith and I think this with the slope he's thinking this ball's going to come back at me come back at me ends up playing at it very angry with himself no. goodness me what was he doing then, Steve Smith, after he played that ball? It must have been a wasp. <laughs> he flat Watch his... this when he's just a normal defence. A bit short, no defence. Watch Steve Smith. That's yeah, a wasp. What? What's he doing? <laughs> shot. That's an excellent shot. That's just the length again, just a fraction of width and just a fraction short, Steve Smith. Easy as you like. It's 
the length, and that's what he's looking for. On either side of the wicket, anything that's at that back of the length, he can play off the back foot. He's got all the time in the world, and he's set up for the shot. Well, Bowl. That's the length. The fraction puller gets Steve Smith stuck on the crease. Not trying to get forward, he can't. It was just a good delivery, that one from Broad. Oh, yeah, nip too, didn't it? Just left him. But it was the length. Nice shot. That'll beat Archer. That'll be four. Just excellent shot from Wade. Three Archer. Quite short. Not really a dive, is it? It's more of a collapse. Must be careful, he didn't hurt himself, but uh, it was timed beautifully. Thousand test runs from Matthew Wade, three hundreds. Got one in the first test and looked pretty good. He looks nice and calm at the crease at the moment. Oh, what bold. Can his pace up now, Archer? Oh, that jumped. Defensive option. Pretty tidy start that from Archer. 99 for four. Just not quite. It's not. It's the in-between length that one. That's the one that needs to be a bit higher for the leg slip into play, or fuller. That in-between length there is very easy for Steve Smith to turn that on the onside. That single brings up the hundred for Australia. 100 for four means Australia 158 runs behind with six wickets in hand. Oh. Didn't bounce as much. It's quite a quick delivery again from Archer. Another good over. 101 for four. length again excellent and England have their first of day four yeah good cricket from England broad drawing Wade into the drive it's an attacking length that he's bowled it's just gone a little down the hill and Burns takes a good catch a good low catch in front of him so good cricket all round from broad and from Burns Wade battled hard but has gone for six and Australia 102 for five. Second, I think Steve Smith was swaying out the way there, yeah. And he just kept down a bit. It was, I, I would imagine as a right-handed batsman facing Archer, it's always in the back of your mind, that potential bounce, because it's lethal and comes quickly. As you say, for a moment, Smith was uncertain here what to do. He looked as though he was about to duck or sway and the ball didn't get up. Side edge and onto thigh and up in the air. Well, as for Broad, there's a short leg and two men out. Fine leg. And, uh, a man just behind square on the leg side. Played that pretty well. Off the mark, the boundary. Oh, just clip that off middle, and Broad's reaction tells you everything. <laughs> yeah, 
This is the Steve Smith conundrum, isn't it? As a bowler, you must feel that he's an LBW candidate. Gets across, but he doesn't miss many. <laughs> Great reactions. A slip, batsman, bowler. the other day you did that excellent piece in the zone how do you get steve smith out you and shane and ian discussed it said uh, you've got to give your bowler a bit of license to have a bit of gut feel as if he's brilliant at working out what the plan is just suddenly broad from nowhere bowled a big in swing from nowhere that delivery came broad had held it outside off and he'd saved it for ages and looked at each other as smith ran past <laughs> Change of ends for Archer. Too high. The slip corner interested Archer. Eventually goes up. And he got an LBW from that end yesterday. Got Bancroft out with a ball that would have just trimmed the bales, according to Hawkeye. I do think this is Archer's more dangerous end, the pavilion end. Because of... Uh, that nip backer that he'll bowl to the right hander. Some will nip back and some won't. So what do you play? What do you leave? Tricky end to face a line bowler like Archer. Bowling from where he is now. That's gone a long way. Not sure it hit anything, but there was a lot of movement and wobble after it went past the stumps. Four buys. Well, that's come the other way up the hill. Not out is the original response. Jarut uh, not really offering any signs of reviewing this. Yeah, top of the pad. Oh, well, it's an edge. He's found the edge eventually. It's an inside edge, though, and the inside edge has somehow avoided the stumps as well. So a suspicious look from the batsman. Oh, there we go again. That's a great length. Single. Finishes off the over. Good over again. 126 for five. Hammered away, despairing dive, not enough to get a hand on it at cover. But it's a great shot. Great shot, given that the pressure has been on for the last half hour or so, just under, since the drinks. Suddenly one is short and wide, presents the opportunity. But if you've been defending so resolutely for that time, sometimes you miss out on the opportunity, but not Tim Payne. Really well ball inside edge onto that front pad. Getting one going back up the slope. I think he's actually timed it perfectly, but it's good enough, I think. Four, it is four. I don't mind that though, playing that shot. You feel you've got a chance, you have a bit of movement. Driving off the back foot the West Indian way. He watches the ball so closely, his head still goes towards the ball, even though it's on that back foot. That would have been fun. Well, he's in it. Not quite gonna go all the way for six, but it does go for four. And that's his 50. Moves on to 52. And 107 deliveries, and that was his sixth four. He just keeps going, does the pressure does not matter to Stephen Smith. Oh. 
a few problems in Stokes. Be lunch 155 for five from 65 overs that last delivery 90 miles an hour and Stokes just a single from that over this session 27.5 the reason it's 0.5 one ball was bowled last night before they came off but that light 75 runs scored and the one wicket should be England is slightly disappointed with that but having said that Australia are still trailing by 103 runs. So there you go, the one wicket to go. That was Wade this morning, well caught by Burns. Oh, bowling Stuart Broad for six. This partnership now is worth 53. Smith not out 53, Tain not out 21. England's bowlers have had to toil hard this morning. The sun's out, the wicket's still flat and low. It's to abroad getting that crucial wicket of Matthew Wade. But it has been Stephen Smith and he stood like a wall, defying all the best efforts of the England bowlers. England put in Australia 258. Burns and Bairstow, the two men to go past 50. Look at the bowl as well. Hazelwood was probably the pick of the bowlers, but Cummings and Lyon also picked up three wickets each. Australia in reply, 155 for five. Steve Smith still there on 53. Tim Payne's the man batting with him, his captain, 21 not out. Australia trailed by 103 runs. No such thing as a tricky innings at the moment for Steve Smith. Yet another four down the ground. Oh, short leg. Yep, the net back up. We've been saying that he is vulnerable to that with a short leg in. Good planning from England. Good execution from Archer. Yep, good captaincy with the back pad in there. Excellent bowling, relentless there from Archer, just hammering it away in a length. A little nip back it down the hill, and once again, Tim Payne looks good, but only makes a 20. Nothing of substance. Excellent delivery, good catch, nice simple one there for bat pad in the air for a while. Thank you very much, Joss Butler says, and England strike. They needed a strike after lunch. They did. They got the Australian captain out, Tim Payne. He's gone for 23, and Australian a bit of trouble at 162 for six. Oh, there you go again. You think he's an LBW candidate. You go full and straight, and you go for four. I just want to remind you, Patrick Cummins to Joffre Archer in the first innings of this game. Cummins bowled 11 balls at Archer. Ten of them, I reckon, were bouncers. And, of course, Patrick Cummins has just walked to the crease. Joffre Archer has the ball in hand, having just got Tim Payne out. I reckon he won't have forgotten any of these deliveries. They're comparable in pace. Will they be comparable in length now? Squirted away. What Cummins wants now is three. And gets up the other end. And he'll get it. Played through the slip, Corden. And he has seven from two. Oh, that's gone through as well. That's a good take from... No, it's not. It's gone through. Bad stuff. It's gone all the way, and that's four buys. 
Serious wheels, 93.3 miles per hour, 180 for six. It's a real flap outside off stump, hands through the ball, four more. Oh, there you go. For once, for once, a little bit of a blow and a pain, and he looks uncomfortable. He shrugged it off already, 186 for six. An egg that just comes up on the arm. Ouch. No arm guard. That will come up. A little egg will just appear on there. This could be a, an important moment in the series, this. Oh, yeah. it looks like he's got a mattress now on the forearm. Might rebound a fine leg. He's missed a lot of cricket in the last year for obvious reasons. He doesn't want to miss any more. He's got a nick on it, and it's over the keeper for. Don't miss this. Come for it again. And he gets up the other end. It's off something. It's off something. It's a delayed appeal, crowd appeal. They don't know. They've not a clue. What do you think? Got to be... Oh! Does the pit have touched anything there? Can you give me ultra edge, please? <laughs> yeah, it's missed everything completely. Flat line, big gap between the bats <laughs> and the ball. Extraordinary. I'm satisfied and going back on field to Halim. <laughs> Halim, you're on screen now. Stay with your original decision of not out. Fabulous test match cricket. 193 for six. Every sinew, it rattles into the gloves. It's 96 miles an hour. It's nicely played. Thrilling stuff. Remarkable thing is he's 26th over. Davis is right up there, 93, 94. Pulled away just over the top of backward square leg and it goes for four. 203 for six. Medical attention out there. 
from both teams. champion player really has to go off has to go off the field I think that's a right decision I really do Possibly stay on after that. <laughs> 